Have you been dreaming a lot lately? You're not alone. In fact, there is a hashtag trending on Twitter called pandemic dreams that people are using to share their dream experiences. Whether you call them pandemic dreams, COVID dreams, or quarantine dreams, they're becoming so common that 13 on your side, side health reporter Val Lego decided to take a closer look at why they are happening. So you've been having some strange dreams. Like riding on the back of a dragonfly or trying to stop the hands of time. So let me try and open the door to what's behind your quarantine dreams. It's probably safe to say that there are a lot of things we didn't expect to happen during this pandemic. A toilet paper shortage, gas prices below $1.50, alcohol being turned into hand sanitizer, and weird, crazy dreams that have us saying, What the hell was that? Meet my longtime friend, Tommy Allen, publisher at Rapid Growth Media, local activist, and crazy COVID quarantine dreamer. And I've had a few of them that have been really a little bit memorable. Tommy's latest one is my favorite. Why am I dreaming about the 90s working at TGI Fridays? I don't even get to the restaurant. That's the whole thing. I'm panicking because I think I'm supposed to start my shift. And while we had a good laugh about it, there's one thing Tommy and many others, including myself, would like to know. What do they mean? I see the puzzle. I know exactly what was, what's going on and I can uh, pick up on that. Deborah Johnson is a local dream interpreter and owner of Dreams of Hope. She believes people are experiencing vivid and strange dreams because our lives have slowed down during this quarantine. And by us being able to sit still, a lot of information is flooding in. She also believes the dreams have important messages. They are giving you some direction in your life and you need to do something about it. For example, Deborah says repeat dreams need special attention. It's probably repeating itself most likely until you get the message, until you really take note of it. And pay attention to all the details in your dream. If you dream about walking in the woods, try to remember everything. What is going on in the woods? Are these uh, uh, woods up, uh, the trees very dry, um, uh, the leaves are off, or they very healthy trees with very a lot of greenery. That makes a difference. Deborah says all of these details play a role in the message they are sending you. So the more details, the better your dream interpretation. Each individual needs something different. And for some, that might mean a more scientific approach. You know, the increased dreaming might be a good thing. Dr. Christopher Morgan is the medical director for Mercy Health St. Mary's Sleep Center. He says these strange quarantine dreams may be caused by the added stress of protecting ourselves from COVID-19 and trying to readjust to a different way of life. If you have a very stressful day, a lot of stuff you're thinking about and going on, sometimes your dreams can be a little more intense because the brain has to kind of calm down all those emotions from the day and uh, that could be another reason why people are maybe having more vivid dreams going on and, and remembering their dreams more. Dr. Morgan says you may also be getting more sleep, which means more time spent dreaming and a better chance of waking up during them. And that's when you remember the dreams the best is when you wake up during the dream when you're actually having it. Other things can also influence your dreams like melatonin, sleep aids, depression, and alcohol. People are drinking more at home, you know, most likely sitting there with nothing to do. And alcohol, um, it suppresses your dream sleep the first half of the night, but then it actually intensifies your dreams the second half of the night. Whether it's a wild and crazy dream or one that brings you peace, dreaming is healthy. It's actually good for our brain to try to help with these emotional responses we're having during the day and tone them down. We may never be able to completely explain our dreams, but hopefully you'll sleep better knowing that what you're experiencing is completely normal during a pandemic when you're quarantined. And if you are interested in having your quarantine dreams analyzed, Deborah says she'd love to hear from you. You'll find her contact information on our website, 13onyourside.com.